Broncos Lease Club is home of the Brisbane Broncos and almost 50,000 members. Since 1988, it has been one of Queensland's premier clubs. This special presentation looks back on the history of the club, its highlights, and features interviews with those who not only started the club, but shaped it and turned it into what we see today. We're looking forward to many more successful years, and as always, we hope to see you in the club very soon. Uh, we were then told by Senator Ron McAuliffe that we were not to use Lang Park at all. So we went to Newman Oval and tried to buy Valleys, which was in financial problems. Then we went to Davies Park uh, to try and buy the Souths. We looked at Fulcher Road close to Lang Park uh, with good people like Darcy and Ron and Ron Atkins and these people that we knew from our playing days. Uh, we felt comfortable here, the geography was right and uh, we then proceeded in the early part of 1988 to put our funds together to buy, we, uh, to buy this facility which we did in an Easter Thursday in 1988, a day that I remember very, very well. Really it was a no-brainer. Live in Brisbane and play in the New South Wales Rugby League competition which was known back then as, as the best competition in the world, so very easy decision. I rang up Barry Maranta, being a pad boy, and uh, Rebo, another West Junior, I used to go and watch at West, uh, West uh, Mitchy football teams, and they uh, offered them our premises. The West Side Boys and Juniors, Juniors Leeds Club is their home, which we were very appreciative of because uh, it relieved us of all our financial uh, problems. Well, honestly, none of us expected to be here for this long, but the Broncos Leaves Club has given us the opportunity to create careers, not just have jobs, and now we're proud to say that we work for one of Queensland's iconic clubs, the Broncos. Uh, Steve Williams, uh, who was for nearly 18 years the uh, chairman, and he succeeded in then getting a couple of very good managers, uh, one Brad Morgan and then of course Jeff Cooner, who have really assisted us in getting us out of the difficulties we we're in. The rest of us are pretty lazy when it comes to photographs and all those things. Uh, and Steve had this fetish about putting photos and walkways and really getting the players represented in the club vigorously. But when you look back, uh, and I thought that was my dream, to have a club that we could walk into and be proud of. And to this day now, every time I walk in this club, I just look up and say, I bet Darcy's looking down from up top, saying, uh, looks good now, mate, eh? We have a very unique situation here where we have the football team training outside the Leagues Club. Uh, not too many clubs can boast that, and uh, I think that's just an added uh, benefit for our members. I would have to say innovation. The club has been able to update our facilities and services for our members. Yeah, obviously uh, the grand final wins and seeing how many people we can get into this place. You know, any time we have a, um, uh, obviously a premiership win or, or something uh, significant, it's, it's a great place to celebrate. The passion of our members, which is obviously linked to the success of the football team, for us it's all about family and community. In the next 25 years, this will be the centre of a lot of a community involvement in, in ways we probably can't imagine.